there James here, hope you're having a great day and welcome to another one of my lessons. Now in today's video I want to show you three cool sounding minor pentatonic rock licks. They're using a mixture of alternate picking, there's some repeating licks, there's some double stop bends and some other cool little devices which I'm sure you'll find really handy to add into your rock soloing trick bag. If you like my style of teaching then remember after this lesson to check out my website where you'll find all sorts of other freebies and cool things. But for now let's get on with the lesson. All these licks are coming from the E minor pentatonic scale. Sure you know that but just in case let's have a quick reminder. If you don't know this then pause the video and use the on screen tab to learn the scale shape. Okay, with that done, let's check out lick one. It sounds like this. To start off, we're going to play 14 down to 12 on the G string, and then 14 to 12 on the D string. Now, I would alternate pick that down, up, down, up. This is not the only way to play it, but that's what you'll see me doing here. Down, up, down, up. Now, we're going to do that three times like this. And to finish off this little section of it, we're going to play 14 on the G and then 12 on the G. Probably a little bit of first finger vibrato on that end note there. Next we're going to move on to a little repeating idea. Now we're going to bend 15 up on the B string, play 12 on the top E string, then pick 15 on the B string and we're going to pull off down to our first finger at 12. Remember to kill this bend off here so we don't get the let down or anything. Kill off with your right hand and just gently let it down with your left hand fingers. Now let's talk about the picking for that. I would probably hit that with an up pick, then the top B with a down pick, the B string with an up pick, and then pull off. Sometimes I might begin it with a down pick, but I'll definitely do this bit, down, up, pull off, down, up, pull off. Now we're gonna do that uh, twice in the lick. Then to carry on, we're gonna grab that B string bend again. We're gonna bend it up two frets, as it's 15 up to 17. 12 on the top E string, do that again. Then grab that bend, bend it up and add a bit of vibrato. So the second part of the lick is this. Okay, here's the whole lick, slow. Three, four. So that's the first lick. Now remember with this one, as with all these licks, that what you really want to do is take the most useful little bits out of it. So that might be this little section here. See what you can do with that in your solos. Then you might take this section and see what you can do with that. Add things to it, experiment with it. Try and use it as a little idea to start making up some of your own licks. And when you do this with licks that you learn in videos like this, you'll start to develop this sort of vocabulary that you can use to come up with your own ideas rather than just copying things exactly as you learn them. So that's an important point about how to use these licks. Okay, let's look at lick two now. This is the kind of idea you'd hear Michael Schenker use in his playing. We're bending 14 up on the G string, two frets. Then we're playing the 12th fret on the B string and then the 12th fret on the top E string. Now you want to roll your first finger here so you don't get this. You need to shift the pressure across your first finger to separate out those notes. Now we're going to do that idea four times. Personally, I would alternate pick this. 
But that's not the only way to do it, but I'll be going down, up, down, up, down. Up. So after you've done that four times, grab this B string at the 12th fret with your first finger, grab the G string at the 14th fret with your third finger, and we're gonna bend the G string up two frets. Leave the first finger where it is. Kind of thin. Now carrying on the lick, we're gonna move into some little uh, sextuplets, some triplet ideas here. This is a sort of repeating idea which you would have heard Jimmy Page and players like that use. And we're gonna play the 15th fret on the top E string with our third finger. I'm gonna pull it off down to 12 on the top E string. And then roll my first finger onto the B string at 12. Now we're gonna do that twice. And then we're gonna do the whole lot again. Now let's check out the picking for this. You wanna pick this with a down. Up, down, pull off, up, down, pull off, up, down, pull off, up. This will help you get it faster and smoother. It's just the easiest way to pick it. Again, you want to watch this first finger so you don't get... I'm rolling there to separate out the notes. Once we've done that, grab 15 on the top E string. We're going to bend this up two frets. Let it down, pick it and play 12 on the top E string. So here's the whole lick slow. Three, four. Okay, time for lick three. Now this is a real feast of repeating ideas, which are a great way to build some energy and momentum into your solo. So let's have a listen to lick three over the backing now. If you're a Randy Rhodes fan, then you might like some of the ideas in here. Some of them are kind of thing you hear in Randy solos. Okay, we're going to start off with this little repeating uh, pentatonic idea here. We're going to pick 15 on the top E and pull off to 12. Then play 15 on the B string. Third finger, 12 on the top E string. And 15 down to 12 on the B. Now, picking for that, I'll pick down, pull off, up, down, up, pull off. And again, you want to watch, you don't want to bar, you're going to get a lot of noise. You need to just shift this pressure on the first finger to keep the notes clean. Great left hand exercise. Now we're going to do that twice in the lick. And then we're going to move the exact same idea onto the next uh, string set. We're going to pull 15 off onto the B string at 12. 14 on the G. Now I'll probably use my second finger for this. 12 on the G and then pull 14 off to 12 on the G. Sometimes I might use my third. So use whichever one you prefer. And we do that idea twice. So here's what we've got so far. Now that's the first bar, and we do that whole first bar again. So here's the first two bars of the lick. Three, four. And again. Okay, now we move on to the next bit. We're gonna bend 14 up on the G string. I'd probably use my second finger for this. Then pick 12 on the B string, hand me a third finger onto 15 and pull it off to 12. 
Now you might pick that up down. Probably the easiest way to do it. And we're gonna do that four times. So here's what we've got so far. Bar two. Now to finish this look off, we're going to grab 15 on the B string. We're going to bend it up two frets and we're going to hold the 12th fret down on the top B string. We're going to do that double stop bend three times. Okay, so if I add all that together, we'll have the whole of lift three. Here it is slow. Three, four. So I hope these licks help you out. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, now is the time to do it. Under this video, you'll find the subscribe button, hit it, and you won't miss any of my future lessons. Okay, now remember with these licks to strip them down to the smaller uh, sort of building blocks, the little components, the bends, the double stops, the repeating phrases. They're the bits you really need to take away from this lesson. The licks are just examples of how you can put those together. They're just one possibility. Take these smaller bits and really start to soak those up into your playing, experiment with them, use them to make up some of your own ideas. That's how they're really gonna become a part of your soloing trick bag. You'll find the backing track to this lesson on my YouTube channel so you can practice these licks over it, just like I'm doing in the lesson. And don't forget to check out all the exclusive free stuff at my website, including some great freebies and some stuff you won't find on YouTube. There's a link to that in the description below. But other than that, have a lot of fun with these licks. I hope they really help you out. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon in another one of my lessons. So take care, and I'll see you then.